Today we master the art of not killing our plants, specifically the fiddly fig tree. Hi, I'm Katie, this is The Normal Girl Show, and today I'm partnering with Ashley Homestore to talk about how to care for a fiddle leaf fig tree. Now these trees definitely fall into the easy care category, but the key is to find a spot where it's happy and getting yourself into a regular watering routine. If you've decided to repot your tree, choose a pot that's about two to three inches wider than the pot it's currently in. Fiddle leaf fig trees like soil that drains well, and to help with that process, you'll want to add a one inch layer of small pebbles to the bottom of your pot. Then add enough soil to get your tree raised to its final planting height. Then carefully remove the tree from its current pot and unwrap the roots if they've started circling, and then loosen up the soil on the sides so the roots can spread out in their new home. Then while you have the tree out, use clippers to trim off any dead or damaged leaves. And finally, place the tree into the pot and begin to add soil around the sides, gently packing it down to remove any air pockets. And as you're adding soil, don't fill past the top of the tree's current soil level, and don't fill to the top of your pot, otherwise you'll make a mess when you water your tree. And now you're ready to find the perfect location for your tree. I suggest staking out a location before you buy your plant just to make sure you can accommodate its needs. You'll need a spot where your tree will get plenty of bright sunlight, but not direct sunlight. So near a window, but not in front of it. And you'll want to make sure your tree won't be in the path of a fan, an air conditioner, or a heating vent. And be sure it isn't too close to an exterior wall. Fig trees don't like temps below about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I keep all of my indoor gardening supplies loaded up on this adorable cart that I got from Ashley Home Store. I picked it because it's more compact than some other carts I've seen, and I love that I can remove these boxes and wipe them out if I need to, and it's on wheels, so I can scoot it around the house easily. It's got that ideal blend of stylish and functional, so I feel like I can leave it out all the time. Now, let's talk about what I've got on here. First and foremost, a watering can. You can expect your fiddle leaf fig to need water at least once a week, and when getting to know your tree, water enough to create a pool on top of the soil. Wait a minute to see if the water starts to trickle out of the bottom of the pot. If it does, you're done, and you know how much water to use for next time. If it doesn't flow out, add a little more water until it does. If it overflows, empty the excess and start with less water next time. Set a schedule so you get yourself into the routine of watering regularly. I actually set an alarm on my phone to remind myself each week. Now there are a few things you can do to keep your fiddly fig thriving, starting with wiping the leaves. I keep a soft cloth in my cart, and twice a month I'll dampen it and use it to wipe the dust off the tops of the leaves in my tree. And this helps to keep the plant's respiration and photosynthesis at their peak. The moisture on the cloth mimics the humidity this tree would normally get in its natural growing environment in the tropics. Now as part of my regular maintenance routine, instead of plant food, I'll actually add a little bit of compost to the soil once a month. This will provide a natural and rich source of nutrients for your tree, and small bags can be purchased online if you don't have access to a compost pile. The final thing I do every month is rotate my plant to keep it growing strong and tall on all sides. And a plant caddy makes this process easy. And that's all there is to it. Your fiddly fig will be happy for years to come. Thank you to Ashley Home Store for partnering with me on this video. Follow their YouTube channel, I've put a link in the description, along with a link for the cart that I use for my indoor gardening supplies. And if you're looking for a design style that complements the fiddly fig tree, Check out my last video where I talk about hygge. Send pics of your fiddle leaf fig trees I want to see. All of my socials are at Katie Normal Girl. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of The Normal Girl Show. But until then, stay normal. Ish. <laughs>